Hey you guys, today I thought I would show you how I feed Jonas and also how I feed Fern and Ivy at dinner time. So I feed them the same at breakfast and at dinner time. They get a little bit different supplements in the morning and at night. I'm not gonna go through the supplements exactly as I put them into their dishes this time because there is just way too many and I'll have to make an entirely different video that goes over that stuff. But I am going to dish up Fern and Ivy's fluff troughs and then I'm going to show you how I have to feed Jonas on account of his really narrowed airway. So let's get started. These are the silicon inserts that I put into Fern and Ivy's fluff troughs. So I just cleaned them. I have one container of food that I just set aside to thaw because we feed raw. So I'm gonna put that there. And this is their portions for dinner. So this is just a simple beef and turkey blend by Pets Go Raw. I'm just gonna grab a spoon. So I'm at a point where I've been feeding raw for so long, I kind of just eyeball how much I'm giving them. I used to measure it on like a little scale and I still do sometimes if I'm like watching their weight. Um, but for the most part, I just kind of eyeball it because I'm so used to how much they should be eating. Careful, oh my gosh, look at Jonah. <laughs> He's ready. He's like, I never get to sit at the table when you're getting dinner. <laughs> so yeah, super easy. I just want to make sure he doesn't fall. Okay. <clears throat> Feeding raw this way is seriously just scoop and serve. There's really nothing to it. So please don't judge me for this looking like really boring. Kind of gross because there is seriously nothing to it. It's all pre-mixed. It's all pre-balanced. I don't have to think about anything. <laughs> If you hear Jonas coughing like that in the background, that is what we're dealing with with his narrowed airway. We're not too sure exactly what it is yet. It's been an ongoing thing, speaking to vets and trying to diagnose it. It could be a clotting trachea, but we are not entirely sure. So far, we don't think it is. He has chronic bronchitis from really dry heat. We have to heat our apartment with a wood stove uh, fireplace. So it could be a variety of things. A lot of these supplements are to address it but he also starts to have that dry hacking cough when he gets excited for dinner. I think the, the dinner that I'm gonna make him in this dish feels really soothing on his throat, but every time he will cough for dinner instead of barking, and then he'll stop as soon as he's finished, so. So I'm gonna add salmon oil just to Ivy's fluff truff because Fern is really, really picky and she won't touch her food if it smells or tastes like fish. So I'm just gonna use the rest of this salmon oil on Ivy's. Use up the rest of that. Also, if you can hear Jonas panting, it's the same sort of thing. When he gets excited for dinner, he pants and he coughs. He rarely barks, he just pants and coughs. It's like a demand pant or a demand cough almost. It's the strangest thing. So that's what's going on down there. So we're just gonna take Fern and Ivy's dish. Dish is here. Make sure Jonas doesn't get into this because if he does, he will choke. That's for Ivy. And Fern, Fern, Fern. Very good, honey. There you go, sweetie. So we'll let them have their dinner. Okay, so now that Fern and Ivy are done eating, I'm just going to put together Jonas's bowl. And I actually used to feed him out of a fluff trough, but it wasn't working anymore because Jonas is a chronic choker. It's a chronic coffer and a chronic choker. So what I started to do is put his portion of raw in this glass bowl and I make it as oily and as watered down. Sometimes I use the, like the juice from the raw meat that has thawed. There's not that much in here though. So I'll just use water and a whole bunch of salmon oil just to give it some lubrication. So it's basically like a really sloppy sludge because what happens is if it's sticky 
as it is when it thaws, it actually coats his throat and doesn't make its way down and he ends up choking and passing out. Um, I've had to deal with it way too many times, so this is something that I've come up with as a solution. Oh, and if I didn't mention it, I actually spoon feed him with a silicone baby spoon. So that's what we're going to show you. <laughs> so I'm just going to break this up kind of as much as I can. I'm trying to be mindful of his portions because he's not as active anymore in his older age. So I don't feed him or I try not to overfeed him. So over there. And then I'm just going to add a variety of supplements here. I usually give him like literally a quad dose of this. I'm not afraid of that. And then I'm just gonna add a whole bunch of water and make it like a sloppy mess. So that's ready to go. The other thing that I started doing literally just a couple of days ago is draping a dish towel over my lap so that my leggings and my shirt and my clothes and stuff like that don't get um, completely messed up with raw food smushed into it. So um, this has helped a lot. I can also use it to clean his little chin afterwards. So let's go feed Jonas his sloppy dinner by the fire. All right, so <laughs> another, <laughs> Another really uh, good reason why I feed, feed Fern and Ivy first is that after they finish, they actually come over and act as like little hoovers, cleaning up everything that Jonas ends up sloshing out of his mouth, which is great. So I'm just gonna put this over my knees. Jonas likes to stand on my, my legs sometimes. He's like totally overwhelmed right now. <laughs> and we're just going to spoon feed him bit by bit. He has about four teeth left, so he can still grab onto this a little bit. <laughs> <Fern and Abby. laughs> They're so helpful. I've recently even started giving him like a mouthful or two, and then I'll stop and wait until he breathes through his mouth. And then I'll give him more. Yeah, is it yummy? Oh, what a good boy. <laughs> I know. This is just a turkey and beef blend. It's a turkey beef dinner blend, so it's balanced. It's by a raw food brand called Pets Go Raw. We just use a commercial raw food brand because I don't want the responsibility of balancing raw food myself. And plus buying commercial raw, I can actually do this. If I was making those intense, really intimidating raw bowls that you see on Instagram, I would have to invest in a meat grinder and be grinding everything really, really fine and also be balancing everything myself. So I prefer to feed commercially prepared raw because it just makes my life easier and it makes feeding pugs raw a little bit easier too because I don't think it's super appropriate to feed them those big, gigantic, fancy raw bowls with whole animal parts and bones and stuff like that. Okay, just a couple more mouthfuls. Okay, Jonas, you ready? Two. Oh, 
and one. Should we let Fern and I be with the bowl? So, <laughs> I'm just gonna wipe Jonas's face with this. Good job. You survived another meal. I'm sorry I wasn't able to give you more detailed information about all those supplements and tincture, tinctures and like witchy things I was putting into Jonas's food, but I'll make a separate video about that. If you guys have any specific questions or requests for me to talk about this stuff, feel free to ask. I am by no means a canine nutritionist or even a veterinarian. I'm just going by the experience that I have and also the knowledge that I've gotten from our holistic veterinarians. So that's where my knowledge of, of supplementation comes from. It's from actually using it with these guys. but. If you did want to know about my experience or what I do know about using this stuff or just what stuff that I put in Jonas's and Fern and Ivy's meals in particular, then yeah, just feel free to ask away. I'm happy to answer and I'll see you in the next video.